to graph a line, you have to have your line in y equals mx plus b form. So this one already is for number 37. Um, the m number is the coefficient of the x, and the b number is the constant that's at the end. The b stands for the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, and the m number tells us the slope or the pattern of our line. So first, I'm going to start with the b number. Our b number in this case is positive 4, so I go to the y-axis, make sure it's the y, and put a dot at 4. That's our starting point, or a good anchoring point for our line. Then I take the m number, the coefficient of the x term, and I make it into a fraction. Ours already is, negative 2 thirds. I usually put the negative sign with the top number. That tells me the vertical change in our pattern, the rise. So since it's negative, it's going to be down 2. And then the bottom number tells us our horizontal change, or the run. Uh, and I always have it be right 2, or right 3, I'm sorry, right. It's always right. So down 2, right 3. That's the pattern from our starting point here. So down 2, right 3, make a dot. Down 2, right 3, make a dot. You can do your same pattern then backwards to continue your pattern, and there's your line. I find that the most common error here is in the slope. People will go the wrong way and have it going uphill. So I always check that from right to left, I should be going downhill if my slope is negative. If it were positive, I would be going uphill from left to right. Next problem, graph this line. The problem with this line is it's not in a slope-intercept form. It's not in y equals mx plus b. So, but we can solve for y to find that. So you take your equation, and we're going to use our algebra tricks to get y by itself. So my first step will be to subtract 3x. That algebra trick allows us to move that 3x to the other side. Because 3x minus 3x is 0. That's gone. So now I have negative 2y, don't forget the negative, equals, and I can't add those. They're not like terms, so I just write them one right next to the other. Negative 3x plus 8. Then I want to undo timesing by negative 2. So I divide each term by negative 2. That cancels here, and we have y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. I'm just going to leave that fraction, though. 3 halves x. And then 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So now I have my b number, my m number. I can graph my line. Negative 4 is my b number, so that's my y-intercept. So I go to my y-axis and make a starting point to dot at negative 4. Then my slope number, my m number, is 3 halves. I make that into a fraction. It's already a fraction. The top number tells my rise. The bottom number tells my run. So I'm going to go up 3, right 2. So up 3, right 2, dot. Up 3, right 2, dot. I can do that same pattern backwards. And there's my line. And at the end, I always check that I'm going the right way, uphill or downhill. So I always check from left to right, I'm going uphill. And that's good because I have a positive slope. So there's the line.